Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vime and today I'm going to show you how to add backgrounds to your Xenia emulator on Xbox. Alright, so for this method, you can do this on the USB, but I will be showing you the FTP method for those who don't have one. Alright, so first off, what you want to do is hover over Xenia Canary, press the start button on it, go to manage games and add-ons, go over to the left side, all the way to the bottom where it says file info and click A on this. If you could take a screenshot of this, this would be the correct Xenia folder that we need to find with an FTP. And then once we take that screenshot, we're going to open up FTP. If you never used this before, at the bottom of addresses of this device, the second to last row of numbers. For mine, it says 10.0039. For yours, it would be different. Just remember those numbers because it's very important. And then also remember the port. It should be 21. Then what we're going to do is at the bottom, click on start. And now we're going to head over to our computer. All right, now that we're back on the computer, you want to make sure that you got your background image. The dimensions for the images would be 3840 by 2160. So if you make any custom ones, those are the dimensions, 3840 by 2160. All right, so once you do have your image and everything, you want to make sure that you rename the image to background. And then once we do this, we're going to open up our FileZilla. All right, now that we opened up FileZilla, those last row of numbers that you had to remember on addresses of this device, we're going to input those here now. The username and the password does not matter. Just make sure to put in the port. Click on Quick Connect. Click OK. All we got to do is go into the local folder. Now what we're going to do is look at that screenshot that you took earlier so that we can find the correct Xenia folder. So for me, it was 64375 and then VYPI, VYPI. So I'm going to click on this, go into the local state, open up the content folder. And then all we're going to do is just drag and drop that background right into our FileZilla into the content folder for Xenia. And also for USB, what you would do is drag and drop that image into the content folder onto your Xenia USB folder. I hope this helped. If it did, please hit that like and follow for more and I'll catch you on the next one.